What is up everybody? We are plowing some snow today. We are in the OBS Power Stroke down here on a job that Willie just finished up fording. Just got uh, hammered with about, we got, I think we got way more snow up at my place. We're like 45 minutes south of where I'm from. So we're a little bit southern part of the state. And we are getting this opened up so we can make sure we can get this wood out of here. Not a tremendous amount, it was a bunny cut. So, a few loads of firewood, about a load of saw logs, and a load or two of some tie logs. So I am, uh, I'm gonna finish cleaning this up. I'm gonna go back home and get my sunglasses because I forgot my sunglasses and it's bright out. So I'm gonna clean this up and then we're really gonna go put this thing to the test. I gotta go up our way and plow out one of our other jobs and it could be, it might be impossible. It could be drifted in really bad. We got like 10 more inches of snow up my way. So let's catch up with you guys in about an hour or so. And we'll, uh, we'll see if the old girl here, we'll see if she can really, uh, we'll really put her to the test, see how much snow she can move. This thing is, uh, this thing's a snow pushing beast. Breaks down a lot, but it's a beast. It's heavy, I gotta load it up with fuel. Think she likes to plow snow, that's for sure. So, all right, I'm gonna catch up with y'all in a little bit. I just plowed through some ginormous drifts and my stupid freaking GoPro. Oh, excuse me, save my lunch. <laughs> my stupid freaking GoPro shit out and keeps saying SD card air and I lost both clips I had, which were freaking sweet and I'm not happy about it. So, so we're gonna go back out and we're gonna try and uh, open up. Just gotta basically open up this even with the wood pile blow out this a little more so they can turn around and then there's the first big pile up top where there's a big drift I'm gonna do the same thing blow it out so they can get a trailer or a truck in next to a trailer so let's hope this stupid camera doesn't mess up again and let's go for it
not too much wood left here. A little bit left. Just gonna keep their opened up so they can get the rest of this wood hauled out of here. But some big snow drifts we just pushed through. I gotta say, I've been plowing snow, been plowing snow for, uh, I don't know, 10 years now. And I've spent a lot of time in like 1500 size pickups. And boy, let me tell you, that old girl, she may really aggravate me and uh, nightmare sometimes. But I gotta say, that truck is, she loves the work. It's more of like a tractor. That's what I was telling uh, my little brother. It's like, it's kind of like a tractor. It's not really, uh, not really meant for much other than work. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to be looking to upgrade for a new work truck. I'm going to probably keep this thing around to push snow with. But yeah, this thing's a champion plow truck. I freaking love it. Uh, plow's obviously beat up and seen better days. It's not the fastest, but it's nice. It's up high. I got good visibility. I can see the, the back of my truck. When I look out the back window, I can see exactly where it is. Solid old work truck, the old Black Beauty. She's a beast. So it's about uh, 12, 1230. I am uh, gonna go meet the rest of the guys up at the job we're actually working out of. And uh, I think I'm gonna cut this video. I think I'm gonna cut it off here. Call it a video. Um, it's looking like, uh, it's looking like we're gonna be cutting in some deep snow, so. Chances are I'm going to be using a chainsaw quite frequently for the next week or two until this stuff packs down because I don't think I'm really going around very much in the woods with an excavator right now unless it melts and I can get on top of it. So we will catch up with y'all later. Thanks for watching. Peace.